Okay, I want to show you this. This is a about a 1910, 1912 Brownie camera, and uh, what I'm doing with it is uh, just to show you the other side of it. And there's the you can see really closely. It's a number uh, that says 120 there, but underneath it says number two Brownie, and the and the uh, um, Patent dates are around 1910, 1912, something like that. Anyway, um, as you can see here, there's some screws there, 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 and there. And I pulled those out, and um, you could take the thing off, and then I was able to fix um, and clean the viewfinders. There's the waist level viewfinder for horizontal picture, and then there's the one that's on top for vertical picture. Uh, and so I want to try to run some film through this. I've done it once before, and I still need to get uh, a first roll developed. I have a feeling that 400 speed Tri-X is not what you run through this. Although it has three aperture settings, you can see right here is where the aperture is actually set. This is just a steel bar with three little holes in it, and each one's a different aperture setting. Um, and if you uh, are able to find, and you can online, on uh, a manual for the um, uh, for the camera, it tells you that you essentially you don't use any of the other apertures unless you're doing something special. And now, right now, it's set for the smallest aperture. It's pulled. This is pulled out, and it exposes the smallest hole there. When it's all the way in, it's kind of the normal aperture, which is bigger and. Um, but I, th I have a feeling it's just way too much light coming in for a uh, for 400 speed film. You can buy f f uh, speed 50 film, and uh, that's that's it. Um, and that's as slow as I've been able to find. And I, you know, black and white is probably better, mainly because the lens is probably not real good for color. I, although that's just a guess. Anyway, um, anybody has any suggestions for how to use this thing? Uh, let me know. I think that um, I'm, I, I have run one set of film through it. I need to see what I got out of it. But these are uh, interesting cameras, and they are, uh, they are, uh, it's what's really cool is here, this thing is 100 years old, and it actually still works. So my guess is that the shutter speed somewhere around the 40th or 50th. That's what the, uh, you know, everything that I've read says that that's about where they are. And so, you know, most films are going to be pretty forgiving within a range between 30th and 50th. So, you know, I'd like to see what happens. Anyway, anybody got any suggestions, let me know. I pulled this off, and uh, it allowed me to get these lenses open and, and, and cleaned up. And the viewfinders, while they're not perfect, they're much brighter than they were before. Anyway, that's a, it's a, it's a Kodak mod, uh, number two.